Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you guys today's transformation video. It is huge, probably one of the biggest transformations next to my kitchen that I have ever showed on my channel. It is so amazing. I cannot wait to reveal this. What we are doing today is we are going to be transforming our play area for our kids into a really nice area for them to now do their homeschooling. So as you can see, we took a trip to Home Depot and picked up a bunch of supplies. If you guys have any questions on what we picked up, please feel free to ask them down below. But I just wanted to remind you guys of the before, before we get started. Nothing special, but still a really fun space, but we're about to kick it up about 10 notches. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this space and wipe down the baseboards just to give us a really nice clean slate to start these projects in. We will be doing a board and batten wall on the wall that the play letters were on. We have never done one before, but we did pick our friend's brain who is a general contractor and he told us everything that we needed. We watched a few videos on YouTube and feel pretty confident that we can totally knock this out on our own. So. Go easy on us, we've never done this before. We learned a lot, but we definitely plan on doing more walls in the house now that we've completed this one. How cute is Colty? What is it with kids and boxes? He has so many toys upstairs, but here he is playing in our new nail gun box. I did share that we were working on this project over on my Instagram and you guys did request that I put the bender board information in this video. So here it was at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to pause it and do a screenshot. These boards are so cheap. I think these are eight foot boards. They were about $2.75 from Home Depot. They are made of MDF, I believe. So super cheap. This whole project overall is very, very cost friendly. Um, the only thing that made it more pricey for us is that we didn't own the nail gun. So we went ahead and just splurged instead of borrowing one because we know we want to do a lot more of these walls in our house. We figured might as well just purchase our own. But if you guys are on a budget and you already own a nail gun, then this project could be super, super cheap for you. So what you will see us doing here is we're just double checking the measurements before we go down and cut any more boards. You always want to measure twice and cut once. Luckily we did pretty well. I don't think we had any board errors um, and then anything that was maybe cut a little bit short, we were able to just fill with the caulking and you never knew. Um, so here my husband's just measuring out the next couple of boards. That way he didn't have to do as much back and forth. And I just want to let you guys know that we were doing liquid nails along with the nail gun. Um, we just did some reading and some research and just seemed like it was the better way to go. I don't think you have to do it this way, but we just chose to just go ahead and do both. Enjoy. 
I am so happy that my husband was off work in order to put this together for the boys. They start in just a few days and we were just gonna plan on setting the kids up at a table and then both kind of decided, you know what? When we bought this house, we envisioned doing this anyways. So maybe this is the push that we needed to get it done. So this is what we're doing. I cannot wait for you guys to see how this turns out, but I have had this whole design in my head for a couple of years now. So it's really cool to watch it all come to life. All we're gonna do now really quickly is go in with some wood filler and this is gonna fill in any of the small holes left from the nail gun and then any other little imperfections and then we will be ready for paint. wanted to come on really quickly and just offer some words of encouragement and maybe offer a few tips with you guys and I really think that this could be really helpful being I know a lot of us have a lot of anxiety and possibly a little bit scared not knowing exactly what we're walking into but I just want to let you guys know it's not just us I'm sure our kids are going through the same thing so the more that we can just 
stay calm on our end. I really think that's going to be best for everybody. So a few tips that I am holding myself accountable to. So I wanted to share them with you as well. And that is one of them is still make a schedule. I know we're at home and things are really weird, but I think a schedule is still very important, just like we would be on a schedule if they were still going to sit in the classroom. The other one is being consistent, and I want to make sure that we can not only keep a schedule, but my kids know exactly what to expect, and I think consistency really works well for my kids, so they might work well for your kids as well. And the other thing is I plan on trying to keep this as fun as possible. I don't want this to be boring and drawn out, and then they just don't want to listen to me, and they don't want to learn, and they're just over it. Um, but we just want to also give ourselves some grace and as well as give our kids some grace too. This is another huge tip that I need to take for myself and I am super hard on myself and always put a lot of pressure and I think that spills over to my kids as well. So just make sure that you're not being too hard on our, on yourselves and each other. And the last thing I want to tell you guys is it never hurts to involve the kids. So whatever they can get hands on with and maybe just involve them with, I think will help a lot as well. That way they're just not sitting at a desk on a computer and just being bored to tears. So anyways, I hope this helps and feel free to leave other tips in the comments below. Okay, so here's the wall. We're gonna do one more coat on it once this is dried a little bit more and get all like these type of areas. So once this is dry, we will go back over it and I honestly think that will do it and we'll be able to pull the paint off or the tape off. I didn't film it because I didn't want you guys to get bored of just watching me paint this whole video, but I went ahead and pulled the tape and then the next day did a full other coat on here and then any other touch-ups that it looked like it needed and the paint came out so well. I just didn't want to bore you guys with filming literally every coat of paint that I put on this wall. A million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. You guys just saw last night we did uh, caulking on all of the spaces and gaps that the paint didn't cover and it turned out really nice. The wall just looks seamless now. We're both super happy with it. Um, but Josh is in here right now and the file cabinets came to the door. So I went ahead and brought those upstairs and unpacked them. And then it was starting to cool off a little bit outside enough for me to go in the garage and then throw a layer of just like a polyurethane protective coating. That way if anything gets spilled on this or a marker or something, I could easily wipe it off. And I just want to say thank you to those that um, voted on my poll over on my Instagram because I did do a swatch of stain on the other side of this. And I couldn't decide if I should stain it or leave it natural. And 100% of you guys said leave it natural, which I was so happy because that was my gut instinct. I just wanted to double check and make sure that it wouldn't look awful if I left it. So excited this is my favorite part of any project and that is starting to decorate it and really start to really pull the whole thing together I was very lucky to find these dr. Seuss prints in store at my Hobby Lobby I saw them online and I was so worried that they would be gone because I know there's a ton of parents like me trying to just pulled together a really fun space for their kids right now. So I happened to get the last two at Hobby Lobby, so excited. And they were 50% off, so I actually paid less than $18 each. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get those hung and then do a few little other personal touches. And then I will go ahead and reveal the whole thing to you guys. Sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side 
If you are not new to my channel, you may recognize this little file hanger thing. I don't know what things are called, but this was downstairs next to the hutch in my kitchen. And since I'm moving things around, I figured, oh my gosh, I already own this. So it's costing me no money. I feel like this makes way more sense upstairs with the boys new homeschool space. And look how good this turned out. You guys cost me nothing. They were in high school when they met And things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, I wanted to take a second to thank Mapiful for sending over this beautiful poster that I'm able to add into this space to put our own custom spin on here. I chose to have the state of California printed because myself, my husband, and my children are born and raised here, but they have a ton of different options to tell your story, maybe a city, somewhere you got married, where you had your first babies, you name it. They also have a really neat link on their website right now for a free back to school kit, and that could be really helpful. I know a lot of us aren't really sure where to start. So this back to school kit can definitely be helpful in times like this. So I will make sure that I have Mapiful linked below along with their back to school kit. And this is easily one of my favorite parts of this space. I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beauty. It's finally time for the final reveal. And let's just remember what this space looked like to begin with. The after is just so crazy and I'm just so excited that I was able to make my vision come to life. Thank you so much to my husband who just really, really doesn't like being on camera and he took one for the team and he stepped up and we got this done and this space just turned out stunning. Comment below, let me know what your favorite part of this space makeover was. I seriously can't pick a favorite, but it's probably between the board and batten wall and the map of full poster. I just love those so much. And I just wanted to say thank you to those that clicked on this video today and support my channel by watching. Please do not forget to subscribe before you leave and also like this video if you enjoyed it. I will try and link as much as I can down below and I'll also link Mapiful if you want to order one of your own. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Tonight we're running on the right track